coming up next, Josie Gabuco of the Philippines, a veteran of the Southeast Asian Games, up against Raksat of Thailand. Here is the uh, bracket so far. And so, as you had mentioned, Endang, who drew a bye, will go up against 2i9. And then later on, uh, we'll see the other half of the uh, fights, uh, the scheduled fight. So, Endang against 2, that's coming up in the days ahead. And this should be a very, very interesting match. As we take a look at the judges for this second uh, fight in the women's light flyweight division, got a Malaysian, a Korean, Singaporean, a Japanese, and a Taipei judge. As we mentioned earlier, there are 12 referee judges assigned for this competition. Wayne Rose of Australia is the technical delegate in charge of the uh, program. And Karina Pixon is the competition manager. And we are underway with our second bout. Raksat Chutalamat is coming out of the curtains. 26 years old. She is from the Navy. Her father, a uh, Muay Thai fighter. In the 2019 World Championships, she took the bronze medal. In the 2019 Thailand Open, she took a silver medal, so she is bemedaled. She certainly knows how to win fights in amateur boxing and to underscore that in the 28, 20. 14 China Open, so this is five years ago, she beat Josie Gabuco, the fighter whom she will now meet. So this is a reunion battle between these two. That's right. And Josie Gabuco is now uh, all set to enter just after uh, Raksat uh, climbs the ring. In the blue corner from the Philippines, Here's the hometown favorite, 32 years old. She was the world champion in women's boxing in her division in 2012. And in the Southeast Asian Games, she has been a dominant figure. She won gold medals in 2009, 2011, 2013, 2015, and she probably would have won a gold medal in if 2017. If they had the boxing in 2017. <laughs> That's right. They did not have <laughs> women's boxing in 2017. They only had six divisions in men's boxing. So Josie Gabuko out for revenge because Raksat Chutai Landmat had beaten her in the 2014 China Open by a stoppage. Thailand, of course, many of their fighters following the route of uh, beginning with Muay Thai and uh, eventually going into uh, traditional boxing. And there's uh, Josie Gabuco of the Philippines. And being attended to by her cornerman, that's Nolito Boy Velasco and uh, Reynaldo Galido. Boy Velasco, of course, is the brother of uh, the 1996 uh, Olympic silver medalist Onyok Velasco and also the brother of a 1992 bronze medalist in the Barcelona Olympics, Roel Velasco. Our referee from Sri Lanka, Nelka Shriloma La. You got it. You nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is, should be interesting. There was a big smile on Gabuko's face as she saw her a familiar face, her previous opponent. And we are underway with this battle. The Philippines in blue. Oh, and Gabuko. look at this, Gabuko right off, the, wow. right off the bell. Exploding right from the onset. And uh, surprising for a moment, Raksat. Raksat has now settled down, but Gabuko is on the aggressive side she's starting the action lighting up the fire very quickly here and it's all about timing i think it's important for gobuko to establish her dominance right at the start and not allow raksat any opportunity to seize momentum and that's exactly what you're doing initiative. right now yeah you start strong and raksat on the other hand trying to settle down trying to weather this initial crisis trying to be as calm as possible in this onslaught. Well, looking very patient is yes. Raksat, but yes, you also notice that Raksat appears to be a little bigger than Josie Gabuko. I don't know if that will translate into more power in Raksat's punches. Raksat with a right hand that landed gently, but not uh, squarely. Gabuko on the attack. Raksat scoring that time with a counter right hand. Gabuko has to be a little more accurate. She may be the more aggressive fighter. She may be 
coming forward and taking the fight to Raksat, but she's got to connect. She has to land more consistently to get those scoring points. And the premium given to accuracy is so high in amateur boxing. This is probably where scoring, sometimes in the professionals we say they got to score, but more in the amateur ranks. Now I think it's very clear here that Raksat deliberately bringing down her guard to invite Gabuko to come in. Raksat looking to counter. Time is down to a minute and ten here in this 48 kilogram battle. You know, this is almost a championship match. Oh, I, I, it, it does have that feel. Both of these fighters were drawn very early in this competition, but I think they are two of the best fighters, if not the two best fighters in this division. In the meantime, Gabuko swinging a little wildly at this point. Raksa trying to just stay calm here. And Gabuko on the attack, but misses with the overhand left. Again, the point of accuracy. Gabuko not able to land enough punches to convince the judges to give her more points. Yet at the same time, Raksat looking too patient, looking to counter, but looking very confident. You see yes. the smile on her face. Yeah, and, uh, it's a bit wry, but uh, she's, you get the sense she likes to be the counter puncher here. Time down to the last seven seconds. This crowd cheering on the hometown now, bet. And I think Raksat is taking a stand right here. She put her feet on the canvas. She didn't elect to, in, to counter. I think she wanted to engage toe-to-toe, -to -toe, probably feeling that she has more power than Gabuko. Now, both fighters are very familiar with each other's style. Here's Gabuko. You see her rushing, but not landing. Yes, that's and Missing your, a lot of yeah, punches. Those large swings can uh, draw out and take a lot out of you in the course of a fight. Raksat to Thailand Mar of Thailand in red, right of your picture. Josie Gabuko of the Philippines in blue. Gabuko, 32 years old, as we said, she's a former world champion. And this uh, year, she has been dominant. She won the gold medal in the Indian Open. She won the gold medal in the Asian Championships. She won the gold medal in the Stranja Good Cup harvest. in Bulgaria. Good harvest for her. That's right, in Bulgaria. In the meanwhile, two minutes and 30 seconds, Gabuko beginning to hit with a right hook. Trying to use that hook a little more. She was swinging a lot, low, uh, rather uh, widely in that first round. Now, you can tell that Raksat is waiting for the opportunity. As you mentioned, she had knocked down uh, Josie Gabuko before. Raksat now going to the midsection. The crowd, That's where she's going. The crowd is uh, a big factor in this fight. And... Uh, Ah, Gabuko uh, that's, with a that's clean a clear connection. shot. That's a clear shot and scored by Gabuko. Gabuko now going downstairs. And, and look uh, at Raksat, she's fighting back. Well, Raksat knew that she was tagged very cleanly and, and clearly by Gabuko. That's yeah. why she's just holding on. And, and she wanted to equalize immediately. She didn't want to give any kind of initiative for Gabuko. Crowd trying to egg Gabuko on. It's a hometown advantage for Josie Gabuko. A minute and 25 remaining here in round number two. Raksat continues to look for that opening. You can sense it. A little bit more foot movement here from Josie and Gabuko. A little, and a little more accuracy, I yeah. think. Well, I also think that uh, because of uh, Raksat's defense uh, earlier, I noticed that she was, Raksat was bringing down her guard to invite Gabuko forward. Temp now she's not. She's Temping, got her guard up. Trying to tempt her, yeah. try to create some openings. And she doesn't mind engaging. I, I yes. feel that Raksat realizes that she needs to stand her ground. That was a clean shot. A great shot coming from Josie Gabuko from the outside. Uh, we're referee from Singapore, parting the fighters earlier. And... Okay. This is a very close fight. Yes, indeed. Very 35, difficult to score. Yes, 35 seconds. It will be very, very close. How did you rate the first round? Very close. Very, very close. Can I you, thought. Can I you thought, score it as a, a draw among the judges? It's not the preferred, right? No, no. You uh, you go 10-9 um, if 
the other fight, if it was a close round, but you, you have to choose a winner. Six seconds remaining. I thought the aggressiveness of Gobuko probably gave her round number one. In the meanwhile, the part, parting of the fighters as the minute rest uh, between rounds will come up. This is the regular Thailand cheering section. They hop from every venue to whatever venue. They've been in the three-on-three three basketball. They've been everywhere. And Very enthusiastic supporters they from were, Thailand. They were also there in the Asian Games supporting uh, all their athletes. This good tie-up that time by Gabuko, and she landed that right hand. That was a big shot coming from Gabuko. This could decide it. This uh, third yes, round. Yes, it is the fighter both. who wins this yeah. third round will win this fight. Um, That's it, the way we it see it. It seems that way. First round, one fighter, the other round, to the other. And again, it's Raksat Chutalmat of Thailand up against Josie Gabuko of the Philippines. Early seconds of the final round. Remember, there is an age difference. Gabuko is 32 years old, Raksat is 26 years old. That time, Gobuko scoring once more. That was a clean shot. I think it's important in amateur boxing to have good side-to-side -side movement because that will give you angles for your shots. If you're fighting an opponent straight up, it's just power over power. But you need to have clean openings and you're able to create openings with good side-to-side -side movement. In the way I see it, the Thai is stronger than Gabuko. And she's not overly anxious. She's just been calm and collected all throughout the fight. Gabuko. All good right hand. Yeah, scoring that time. This could go either way, huh? The way, the way it's going. And another caution against Gabuko. Big right hand by Raksat. Now Raksat see, follows it up. And Raksat is beating Gabuko to the punch. When, they and when they're inside, yeah. Raksat manages to sneak in an uppercut or a shot to the uh, chest area. Well, Raksat also has an advantage in reach. You see her length, and it's bothering Gabuko. And that's why Gabuko has had to charge in to negate the length advantage of uh, Raksat. There's another shot coming from Gabuko. And we're coming down to a minute and 16 seconds here in the final round. And you got to give it to Josie Kabuko for that fighting heart. Right from the opening bell, she has been on attack mode, never taking a step back. Raksat is still looking for that opening. It has not presented itself, really. And what you like also about Raksat is that when she throws her punches, she throws one-twos all the time. Entering the last 45 seconds of round three. Very close fight. Right hand just grazing the mask of Raksat. Suddenly an opening not taken advantage of by Raksat. Crowd trying to creep into the fight. I think one flurry. Will decide one, it. Yes, one <laughs> solid connection here in the last... 15 seconds in this fight might be critical. There it is. It's beginning. Big Gabuko. left hand by Gabuko. That's right. That landed. And, and that'll it do is. it. Difficult to say oh who won boy, that fight this as is, Boy uh, Velasco this is going to and kill Ray Galindo. Way. Yes. Going over to their fighter, Josie Gabuko. And then you see Raksat. Still looking very confident. And the Thai crowd cheering on Raksat. And we have athletes of different, uh, all the other disciplines uh, hiding over to the PICC tent. And, and there's Raksat with that yeah, attack. That was a right hand. And you know, we were, and that time a connection by Josie Kabuko. So all about taking the first crack at your opponent. And beating hit, the and other hit, to and the hitting punch. your mark, as you said, yeah. can't be all swinging and charging through. You gotta land the punch cleanly. Here we go with the now decision. The results of bout number two, winner on points by split decision, four one.
In the blue corner. Oh, and very Joe close. Zigabuko has won 4 1. What a rousing victory. I thought it was her aggressiveness. And as I said, you know, that could have been the gold medal fight right here you know, in you, the women's you, light flyweight you division. Since Roxat was telling Josie, till we meet again. Yes. And uh, look at the scorecards. Well, you have one judge scoring it uh, for Roxat.